Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy before God also who gave us this precious time to share the heart of God together with our brothers and sisters this morning. Uh, let us open the Bible. Today we are going to study 1 King in chapter 7, verse 1. First King chapter 7, verse 1. But Solomon took 13 years to build his own house. So he finished all his house. He also built a house of the forests of the Lebanon. Its length was 100 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits with four lowers of cedar pillars and cedar beams on the pillars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I really, uh, I'm very happy, though not all our brothers and sisters can participate this morning at Bible study. I think others we can share with the audio message so that they can listen. Uh, and then word of God uh, every morning, I'm going to work for this. Uh, but I'm very happy before God through this uh, daily bread time and morning Bible study, we are able to meditate the heart of God, which is flowing in the Bible. Uh, we have been learning 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel. It was so blessed in our hearts through the life of David. Now we start with the first kings. And from there also, uh, there are many things which God teaches. God shows us the right spiritual life and also what is evil spiritual life before God. Uh, from First King chapter 5 up to chapter 8, it is explained how Solomon began to build the house of the Lord. When we start first chapter 5, I was so thankful because there was a King Hiram uh, who loved David all his life. And also I could see that when David defeated Jerusalem and chased away this Jebusite, the time King Hiram, yet he is a Gentile, but he himself, he come to David and with the material of Sedal and also uh, carpenters and marshals to build the house of David together. Uh, really, we are able to see how uh, this King Hiram received this heart to be with David and to work for David. Because we could see that he so clearly, God, he is the one uh, who is working with David and raising David. So he was able to join with the, the work of David together. Yes, it was a blessing in his life and a more big blessing also in the time of Solomon. And when the time he built the house of the Lord and King Hiram is able to work together. So this house of the Lord, not only Israel who built this house, actually together with the Gentile, these people from Hiram, they are able to build this house of the Lord uh, together. And also yesterday we could see uh, what is the purpose of God to let Israel to come up from Egypt because God wants to read Israel to come up from Egypt not just for living for their flesh desire, but really to read them into the house of the Lord where God is able to meet with Israel. Amen. And yesterday we could see that uh, in these generations, and we are the one who is a temple of God, where the Jesus Christ dwell among us, right? Then what is the main purpose of this tabernacle? What is the main purpose of this house of the Lord? Because from there, through the sacrifice, they are able to wash away their sin in the same way. Through our new temple, through our life, what God wants us to do, really to deliver the gospel of Jesus Christ, gospel of forgiveness of Christ. 
how Jesus Christ washed away all our sin through his blood. So to deliver this good news, this is the right function of the tabernacle in this generation, which God has given us in our life. And yesterday, we could, you could remember uh, how long does it take to build the house of the Lord? How long does it take to build the house of the Lord? Um, you are able to see that. Uh, I can show you. Yeah, chapter six. So chapter six, verse 38. And in the 11th years, in the month of Bull, which is the, the eighth month, and the house was finished. In all its detail and according to all its plan, so it was a seven years in building it, right? But now you can see that the house of the Lord, he built for seven years. But now today we read uh, chapter seven, but if you read verse one, but Solomon took 13 years to build his own house. So he finished all his house. So uh, actually though there is a chapter six and chapter seven, there is division, but actually this is one Bible. So uh, chapter six, uh, chapter six, it is connecting. So he was seven years in building, okay? but Solomon took 13 years to build his own house, to finish it, all his house. So anyway, also in the beginning, when I was reading chapter seven, also I was doubting how to build his house, how it is so how it takes long and we are able to see the size he was also built the house of the forest of the level its length was 100 cubit its width 50 cubit its high 30 cubit with four walls of cedar pillars or cedar beams of the pillar so really i was able to see that oh uh, because though mm, i'm not saying that he built his house like a certain year. That's why he is corruptible. I cannot say like this. Is that right? Because maybe it can have a different type. But one thing which we could see, we could feel that. Yes, really Solomon in the beginning, he start build the house of the Lord. And really it is a great work. Is that right? Yes, it is a great work. Yes, it is a great work. And he received the help from others and he was able to build the house of the Lord. But the time he put his own house, it, it took 13 years. He built more wider and he put more good qualities with the good jewelries, treasures. So I was thinking, um, but really we could see that he put more hard to build his own house. Even Bible didn't say that maybe the house of the kings, right? He's the house of the Lord. I'm a house of the, the so, so, Solomon, but he put it, his own house, his own house. Is it right? Yes, he put his own house. Really, uh, we could see that uh, he put, why he put his more time. If you read the Bible, Uh, verse 7, verse 7. Verse 7, then he made hole for a throne, the hall of judgment, where he might judge it, and it was Pannered with the cedar from the flower to ceiling. So uh, he also made a hall of judge where he might judge. Are we together? Yes, also he built, a, he made a hall for judgment where he might judge because we could see that how he judged the peoples 
And also, that is one of the function work for the kings to judge. But if you read verse 8, and the house where he dwelt had another court inside the hall of like workmanship. Solomon also made a house like this hall for Pharaoh's daughters, daughter, whom he had taken as a wife. So what we are able to see that, uh, what we are able to see, yes, also we can see that, uh, also we can see that King David, he bared the, the hall of judgment, right? Where, because also he was seeking wisdom because to have a right judge. That's why he made uh, like a judgment hall of judgment, right? But also you are able to see that he prepared another house for the daughters, no, the King Paro's daughters, where he married. Because we could see that the reason why he has to marry from the daughter of the King Paro, because, you know, the time, because it is like a partnership. In order to support each other, in order to make a, the, the partnership together, to protect each other, to, to help each other, that's why they used to marry with a daughter from another kingdom. So Solomon married the daughter of the king Paro is showing the connection and also in the same time is able to protect himself, is able to show his power, depending on how he connect. Is it right? But yet Solomon, he is the one who served God and yet God is be with Israel. But really, we could see that he could see his strange part. He tried to marry with those big countries' daughters in order to protect his kingdom and to show his power. And finally, because of this, whole Israel also they start soft idol. Is it right? He start soft start soft these other gods, other idols from Egyptians, from different countries, from the Gentile. If finally this, how they are perished, how they are suffering, how the country divided. Is it right? Yes, really we can see how they perish. How, you know, Babylon, they defeated Israel. Babylon, they took Israel as a, you know, they took Israel peoples to work as slaves. So, and then that, that house of the law, how they break down. So because of this and how Solomon brought these women from another country and then Israel, they not, so instead of serving God, they start serve idol, they start serve their flesh and fresh desire of the world. Is it right? And really, we are able to see. So, yes, the house of the Lord, the way how we build, yes, also can show the glory of God. It can show the glory of God. The problem is, problem is, because of the, the house of the Lord, which is Solomon built in the Old Testament. So, really, we are able to see people, they misunderstand that is image of Jesus Christ. Is it right? Though this house of the Lord is showing the, the glory of God, the power of God, that is a true. But um, many people, they understand, ah, even Messiah, even the Son of God, also Son of God is coming to the world like that the house of the Lord, like that uh, Solomon house because it was showing the glory of God. But really we are able to see the Solomon, really, yes, he was serving God. He built the house of the Lord, is it true? He was a serving God, he was working for God, but also in the same time, he has been serving his flesh, his desire, also his heart, right? And he built his glory, very big bigger than the house of the Lord. 
But what does the Bible say? Let's go Matthew chapter 6. We go Matthew chapter 6, verse 28. Matthew, book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 28. Book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 28. Matthew chapter 6, verse 28. So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field. How they grow, they neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so close the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven. Will he not much more close to you? Oh, you a little faith. Therefore, do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? What shall we wear? For after all these things, the Gentiles seek. And for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. So everyone here, what he says that. Verse 29. I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. What is one of these? Like, you know, those grass and flower of the field, which today is and tomorrow thrown into the oven. Is it right? So everyone, really, if you look at the Solomon's glory is so, so big. Is it right? So, so big. But what does Bible say? Even this glory, hmm? even this glory is not more better than this flower lily, 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 lily. Is it right? Because this flower even can die after some time. Hmm? So really we can see that oh, in the eyes of Solomon, yes, he put... He put all his glory and also he prepared the best place for the wife. Even he married 3,000 women. Is it right? But now what this Bible say? The glory of Solomon, it is more worse than this flower lily, which can dry in any time. Is it right? Any time can die. But many times I could see, huh? I could see this Bible say all these things. Why shall we eat? Why shall we, huh? Why shall we put on? All these things is like, mm, all these thing is like Gentile seek. Is it right? Huh? So I feel that uh, really King Solomon, King Solomon, he put his heart to serve God and but in the same time, also he put his heart for serving his flesh and also serving, also living for his life. And then finally, because of this daughter of King Paro and those ladies from this Gentile, what happened? They come, not only they come and start serving God, no, they come, they didn't serve God. They come and with their own God and idol, they start they're serving their own idol. And Israel, as you know that Israel, how they start disobey God, instead of serving God, Israel, they start serve idol. Is it right? This time of Solomon, those idol and they stay serve. And finally, how they perish, even his kingdom perish. These um, Babylonians, right? Babylonians attacked this Israel and arrested so many peoples and they destroyed this house of the Lord and even house of Solomon. Is it right? 
So really, we can see that that is what Gentiles seek. Solomon, he was putting his so-called like Gentile standard, not Christian standard, not the, the children of God. Really, he was thinking for his flesh, for his desires, and not only purely to serve God. Really, today, through this, we are able to see clearly. We are able to see clearly, right? Uh, really, uh, God has given Solomon with great wisdom. Amen. And with that wisdom, if he serve God, really, he can do the great work of God. Is it right? But not only he serve God, also he put his heart into his flesh. Even he used his humanist way to protect his kingdom, to establish his kingdom. That's why he has prepared so, he has to use so many souls for the daughter of Parao and so many daughters from Gentile. Is it right? Really how he spent all these things, how it's so miserable. And this Bible say that, that all the glory of Solomon just is nothing. It's just less than this flower. Everyone may desire that desire. You ever may desire the glory of Solomon, isn't it? You admire that glory of Solomon, but really you are able to see that that, glo that glory is nothing. That glory destroy Israel, destroy the Solomon. Is it right? Really, we are able to see how Jesus Christ came to the world. Jesus came to the world in miserable will and where we cannot... <clears throat> where we cannot desire on him, but through Jesus, God was able to do the, the great work of God. So today, uh, chapter seven, while I was reading how they build the house of the Lord and his own house, really we can see that Solomon not purely served God and also uh, build his house with his own flesh heart and with his own desire and also with the standard of Gentile, he put a lot of effort, he put a lot of heart to establish his own house. But really, we are able to remember how Israel perished because of this, uh, this daughter of Egypt, daughter of King Parao. Really, they come with their own idol and it delivered to all Israel. And because of this, it perished. So I wish that Really, if the Solomon, if he serve God pure heart, really he can do the great work. In the same time, even in our life, really many times we focus. What shall we eat? What shall we wear? Many times, easily, easily we focus our own life. But you know what? Our desire endless. If you have a car, you feel very happy, right? Because before you didn't have a car, you might have a small, if you don't have anything, you have to use a taxi. But if you have a Boda Boda, you might be very happy. But that happiness cannot take long because after some time, you're tired of this Boda Boda, you admire the car. If you have a small car, you are very happy because of car. But also your heart cannot be happy continue because you admire another car. You admire bigger car. Is it right? Everything is same, even house. Even company, if you are in the junior office, you are very happy because you joined, you get this job, you are very happy. But after some times that happiness cannot take long, you admire more high position, you admire more high level, you admire more high salary. Even the house, same. Your desire is endless. Cannot be, cannot fulfill, cannot satisfy, right? That's why Satan tried to give you the desire of the world to follow that desire, not only serve God purely, not only work for God, because we can do some formality work, but still in our life, yes, we can come to church. Yes, we can offer and be for God. Yes, we can do some work of gospel. But on the other side, we put all our heart for my life, for my family, for the futures. Yes, we can. But really, what is first priority in our life? This Bible say, do not worry for your eating. Do not worry for your clothes, what you eat, what you wear. 
But really, Bible says, first seek his kingdom and his righteousness, because the glory of Solomon is more worse than these flowers, which can dry. Is it right? Really, I hope all the brothers and sisters, I'm very happy to share the heart of God today through this uh, chapter 7. We are able to see <clears throat> really how God wants us to serve God. You remember you are the temple of God. Amen. You remember that God has chosen you and give you true salvation so that through you, there are many people which God can receive, God can deliver this gospel. There are many people who can go to the kingdom of heaven through our brother and sisters. Amen. Yes, when we are serving God for our, when we are serving our flesh for our own glory, it looks happy, but there is emptiness in our heart. All of us, by the grace of God, amen, by the grace of God, if we can serve gospel together, really, God give you great joy and happiness in your life. For me, I remember Pastor Park used to say to the some of brothers who has a business, hello, brothers, hello, elders, are you eating well? Did you take a breakfast? Yes, Pastor, I take a breakfast. If you can take a breakfast, don't try to make money for yourself. Let us serve God together. <laughs> can, do you understand what this meaning? Pastor Pat was asking that business brethren, did you eat breakfast? Uh, yes, Pastor, I eat breakfast. Then that is enough. Let us serve gospel together. For us, our desire is endless. Continually follow. If you have a 10, 100,000, you admire for Another one million. If you have one million instead of satisfied, you admire two million. If you have a two million, you admire five million. That's why sports betting is continually success, isn't it? But the people who try to make money from such sports betting, they lose continually because of the endless desire. That's why these sports betting company, they are making a lot of money. Why? If you get the 200,000 by sports betting, you should stop. Then you can remain with the 200. But if when you get the 200, you admire another 400. When you get the 400, you admire 1 million. When you get the 1 million, you admire 2 million. That's why they are doing continue until they lost all the money. Right. Our brothers and sisters, you remember this Solomon not just following our flesh desire. Amen? Really, really, uh, if we serve God together, all these things will add it to you. Amen? And then this Solomon, to put all his heart, to fulfill his desires, what was a result, we remember clearly how his life and whole his life perish miserable ways. Also, I hope the old brothers and sisters do not put your desire on the word focus to serve God and for serving for the gospel. There is a clear purpose for you. Amen. Thank you so much. We finish here. Thank you.